The strings of the violin are tuned to G, D, A and E. G being the thickest string and E being the thinnest. You will need something that can produce the musical note of A at standard pitch or A440. Perhaps a tuning fork, or a mobile phone or chromatic tuner with a source tone of A440. You'll also need a chromatic tuner with a digital display. Alternatively, you could use a tuning app for your smartphone. Hold the body of the violin firmly in your lap with your left or right hand, leaving your other hand free to turn the tuning pegs. You can tension the strings of your violin or tune them using the pegs for larger adjustments and if your violin has them the fine tuners on the tailpiece for smaller adjustments. Before you begin to tune the strings, it's best to slacken them all off. This is to avoid over-tensioning them and breaking a string. With the violin in an upright position facing you, turn the pegs away from you to tighten the string and towards you to loosen the string. When you're tightening the strings you may need to push the peg inwards towards the peg hole as you turn the peg. This is to make sure the peg grips so that it won't slip back when you have the violin string tuned. When you begin tuning, start with the A string. And that is this peg here. Put simply, you're trying to match the sound produced by your A string on your violin with the sound produced by your source. For example, the A440 tuning fork. Make only very small turns of the peg, plucking the string as you turn. Change hands and carry out the same procedure on the D string, using the tuner and the visual display to guide you. Then proceed to the G string. Change hands so you can tune the E string. This is the thinnest string and is easily broken, so tune very carefully using only small turns of the peg.
Sometimes tuning one string puts another string out of tune, so constantly recheck and use the fine tuners to make small adjustments.